In episode 12, we covered working with remote schema stitching. We used the GraphQL tools package to stitch together multiple APIs. In this example, we stitched together a cart API and a CMS. We then extended the schema so you're able to look for a product where the cart ID matched that of a product in the CMS. If we explore graphical, we can see here that we have all of our different query types prefixed with the CMS or CartQL name. Then just like we would with any other query, here we can make multiple GraphQL requests inside of graphical here, and this will make requests to those underlying APIs. If we take the ID of one and we call the CartQL add item and pass along that ID as a cart item to the cart ID GCMS, what we can then do in the response is we can fetch the product's name, description, and anything else from the CMS. If you haven't worked with remote schema stitching before, then I encourage you to check out episode 12 where we dive into this a little bit more. In this video, we are going to use the GraphQL code generator to introspect both of our APIs as JSON and store the output of both of those files instead of our project. We'll be using the plugin introspection. So let's grab the name of the package, open our code editor and install both of these dependencies. We'll first install the introspection plugin and then the CLI for GraphQL code gen itself. Now that's installed, in the root of your project, create the file codegen.yml. This is the default name for your code generator file. Inside of here, we'll then define what files are generated and the schema that that looks up to. We'll then pass it the schema endpoint, and then we'll define the plugins. We've only installed the introspection plugin, and that's what we'll use. We'll then do the same for our second API, which will be the CMS, and we'll give this a name of graphcms.json. We'll pass the schema and the plugins. Next, let's update package JSON to include a generate script. With that saved, let's open the command line and run npm run generate. GraphQL CodeGen will do its magic and generate both of those files. We can see here we have the introspection JSON result inside of cartql.json and graphcms.json. Back inside of our server.js file, we actually await introspecting the schema when we make a request. Obviously, this can add latency and time for executing schemas. So what we want to do is pass that schema as JSON to the wrap schema function. I'm going to destructure schema from the arguments passed into create remote schema, and then we'll simply return wrap schema with that schema added. First, let's go ahead and import both of the introspection result files that we generated using the GraphQL code generator. Because we imported the introspection result, we actually need to build a GraphQL schema instance. We can import the build client schema utility function from GraphQL. We'll then define our cart schema and CMS schema using that function passing in the JSON result. Then all that's left to do is update where we call create remote schema and pass in that schema for both cart and CMS. We can go ahead now and remove the introspect schema import. Now, if we run the local server, now when we execute a query instead of graphical to fetch our cart items, this time there's no introspection query sent. So things run a little bit faster and smoother thanks to GraphQL code gen.